Howdy folks, welcome to another season of Space Engineers. I first want to apologize, my voice is a little rough, I'm just over a cold, so bear with me. I might be a little uh, crackly and squeaky here, but we're going to soldier on because there's gaming to be done. <laughs> and what's different about this uh, series is I'm actually going to be in space for at least a lot of it. I was looking back over my playlist, I've primarily been on planets, I, I really enjoy rovers, and just kind of the carefree attitude, you know, on planets. So we're going to be in space. Uh, primarily vanilla, but I've got quite a few, like, quality of life things going on. And, of course, daily needs just to make things a little more interesting. But I have skipped a little bit of the early game, just because if you've seen one Space Ser Space Engineer Survival Series, you know, you've seen the beginning a hundred times. So I spawned in this, uh, this default ship here, although it did have a little bit of food and water because we got daily needs. And I've went and I, you know, mined a bunch of rocks from our starter asteroid, and I got a basic refinery and a basic assembler built. And then I slapped a uh, solar panel on. And then I went asteroid hunting. And I found uh, a few asteroids with some good stuff in it. And then I finally found this one here, which has ice. So if I hit four to turn on my ore detector, we have ice, and ice is life. Because we need that to drink, we need that to fuel our ship. We need lots of ice. So this is going to be at least our little starter base here to get going. And uh, you can see we got some independent contractors. We've got some bad guys around. As well as some, some neutral traders just buzzing around. I'm hoping they'll kind of leave us alone for a while. But let's go... Let's go get some ice, first of all. Now, I kind of want to see which direction the, uh, the sun is... So we can get our uh, solar tower set up right. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> it's already selected. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get this guy on. So there'll be a mod list in the description for the curious. It's all the usual suspects I usually play with. But if you're new here, you might not be familiar with those. So this says we have ice right inside here somewhere. Here it is. It's exposed. Perfect. Now I do have ice in the ship. I want to just grab some extra. This we have it available. Come on, one more chunk. There you go. And there's the earth like off in the distance. And where'd my ship go? There it is. Pretty easy to lose your ship. Uh, this ship does not have an antenna. Let me drop this off, and then I'll make my mind a little easier. We got a few thousand ice sitting there. Should pull that all in. And I've got uh, just a little bit of food and water left over, so we need to get some stuff built uh, pretty quickly. So I want to start with a uh, basic platform. Actually, do I have... I need to grab steel blades. And uh, probably need to make some interior stuff as well. Alright, let's go here. Here we go. Steel plates. And those built up as well. So we have a little bit of stuff. If we look in the... Uh, in the refinery here. We got... Uh, I found nickel, so I, I grabbed that. Uh, we got a little bit of cobalt processing through. We got just a little bit of iron, a little bit of silicon. Not not a whole lot yet, but it's enough to get, get uh, at least something down. So I want to get a basic uh, foundation down, and then I want to get a, a connector. Because so we're going to be powering the base with the ship for a little bit. And that's also our only uh, survival kit until we find something else. So if we slap uh, this down, and then is it G? No. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I've not played this for a while. Is it H? No. <laughs> I don't remember how to play. I don't remember how to space engineers. Uh, there's a key to set it to uh, to grid mode or not. I don't remember what that is. There it is. B. Uh, local grid is basically the same as free placement. Fair enough. So what I wanted to do was build just a little bit of a tower. And I want to see which way the shadow is falling. And then I'm going to stick a block there. And I want to see how the shadow moves. 
so we can see where the uh, where the sun might end up. And then I think we'll just embed this right here. I'm going to just start building uh, a little bit of a platform. Just something to get started. Nope. And this is not, uh, not permanent at all. Now, I usually play with the... Um, the aw scrap mod and stuff like that. This is a lot more vanilla than I usually play. And I'm a little rusty at the at the space engineer, so I apologize for that. Alright, and we want you to be destruction. Oh, I need you to be on a cargo container, don't I? Alright, let's get rid of you. And you. Oh, I didn't grab the interior plate. You're quite right. You are quite right. I dumped the... That's what I was looking for. And then you need to make lots more steel plates. Although we have a little bit... A little bit of iron, but not a whole lot. We need to get some more uh, gravel processing. All right, cargo box. You go there, and then connector, you go there. And then I don't have anything in my build planner, so we're going to go boom and boom. I'm not used to jetpacking. Like I said, I, I primarily have played on planets. Plus, I'm a little rusty, so this is kind of all new. All right, we threw everything we could, and we're going to put the rest into production. And I should mark this as well before I get completely lost somehow. So we got a whole bunch of nothing here to, to put in. And then, we, of course, we need a battery as well. So this might turn out to be the you know, the side of our eventual base or something. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We just got to have something here to, to get started. Battery. And let's see, we have some, yeah, we got some new warfare batteries. Let's use one of those. Uh, I used all my steel plate, didn't I? Uh, let's see, do power cells take cobalt? I think they might. Give you those. I'll stick you under here. Actually, I think that was upside down. Not that it really matters, but you know, it's the principle. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll have you sticking out that direction. Okay, and then we'll add you to the build planner as well. Actually, let me get this stuff out of here first. I don't want to get the build planner confused. Alright, it is chugging away making stuff. I'm going to put a cut in here, and I'll be back once this is all processed. We at least have this welded up, and then we might at that point know which direction the sun is actually going. We can start planning out some power terms of solar and then also I need to get constructing on something to make food and water or I'm gonna die see you in a bit all right things are a little tight we're almost out of food but we're also almost done with a uh, emergency ration dispenser energy low. and we're almost out of energy so you know things are going great <laughs> now we're gonna be fine let's still play two motors come on Yay! Okay. So, there's only a small grid version of this. I I thought this was a small grid ship, but it's actually a large grid ship. Uh, so, I had to put a large grid rotor at a small head. Then I could put this guy up here. 
And then this will take, I believe it takes ice and gravel and it makes stuff that'll just barely keep you alive. Emergency rations and water, basically. So until we can build uh, better stuff, this will hopefully keep us alive. And if I go here, it has a little bit, a little bit of uh, inventory. I thought I put gravel in here. Can it do anything with that? It cannot. Okay. I accidentally put the gravel in here. We're gonna have some gravel just from processing it. Um, I need a little bit of ice. And also, let me do um, rotor lock, so it's not trying to go anywhere. Uh, gravel. Let's put 50 in there. Yeah, that's not going to fill up that much. There we go. And then we need a little bit of ice from our uh, O2H2. Come on, boots. Energy critical. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm working on it, game. This ship, for whatever reason, it likes to flip out and uh, vibrate all over the place. This, I want to get some uh, food going. We've got uh, we've got water left, but we're getting really low on, on the food. All right, we got some charge. I need some ice. So let's take say hundred ice. I don't know how much ice we need. We'll find out. And I think that will automatically make stuff, or do I have to tell it to make stuff? I don't remember. I have to tell it. Okay. So let's make uh, 10 of those. That's going to use 100 ice. Almost 100 ice. Okay. And we'll have it make a couple things of... Uh, we'll make five of those. We'll see how it gets along making that. While we're doing other stuff. So this is, like I said, this is all very temporary. Uh, just to get bootstrapped. Uh, the sun, I think, is going down, which is not great. Yeah, the sun's definitely going down. But it appears to be like it's still in that plane. So I think this is kind of the plane, perhaps. Uh, what's a bummer is there's a giant asteroid next to us, which is going to block the sun. For a lot of the day so i think this is a bad place for a base but it's a place just to kind of get started and we can go from there all right i need to get uh, a little more rock mined up and i want to go actually over to that big asteroid well let's just go do that we've got our uh, food going let's go see what's in the big asteroid i need to get charged up again anyway let me just go ahead and seal this off get that going I've got home marked there. Uh, one thing I don't have on the ship is a light. Makes it quite challenging. And I'm going to go ahead and boost up the uh, ore detector range to full. don't know if it uses more power. I would expect that it probably does. So it's to fully visible. Then let's get over on the other side of this. Ooh, we got some uh, ember stuff over there okay we got uh, we got some nickel now that's back on the, on the other asteroid does this thing have anything on it just a giant view block is that what you're telling me kind of looking like it's just a giant view block so that's just rock that's all that is Okay, well, I was hoping there'd be something uh, something else a little closer, but it's like that might not be the case. It's just black. I definitely need to get a spotlight on here. So let's go see what this uh, asteroid over here has in it. And 
maybe we'll have better luck. At least we found our ice. But uh, the advantage of not having like the all oh, scrap stuff like I usually do is I can just break that stuff down and build it somewhere else. I don't lose anything. I'm used to uh, losing materials if you break stuff down, but that's not the case anymore, which is great. Okay, we here we are, and we hit the jackpot. We've got some silver. So that is very nice indeed. We shall go grab ourselves some of that. This ship doesn't have an antenna on it, so it is rather easy to get lost. I'm just going to let it come to a stop. And then I'm going to say GPS ship, just so I can find my way back here. Uh, let's go ahead and depressurize, I guess, even though our oxygen tank is full. But something else we got to get going uh, at our temporary base is some oxygen. Although once we can dock the ship, we're pretty much okay. All right, let's double check. Uh, yep, we got ship on there. Excellent. So somewhere over here. My mining drill doesn't have a very long range. Uh, the ship doesn't have an antenna. I thought maybe I could just find it over here, but... Oh, wait, what's this? There it is. That's empty out my inventory, like a complete professional. That's okay. We'll grab a little bit of silver. It'd be nice to have that. We're not going to be able to refine it for a little while. But it'd be nice to have, since it's right here. So, I'm going to grab a little bit of that, and then we'll do a little bit more exploring. Well, I found some more ice nearby, but uh, no iron, unfortunately. There is iron within less than 10 kilometers, I believe. I'll have to look at my GPS list, but... Nothing real close by. So I'm going to concentrate on throwing stone in and getting some more of the basics built. And I'll bring you back in in a bit. All right. I got some water and some emergency rations made. So we got a little bit of breathing room. Uh, I think I'm going to run over and get some iron from this iron asteroid. Uh, because chucking rock in there is, uh, is getting pretty old. And we are going to need a lot of iron. So I'm going to go do that. Uh, I still didn't build a light for this. We need to get that done at some point. We got a lot to do. It is, it is very dark. I'm navigating by my suit lights here. Uh, the windshield's all dirty. I'm not sure. There's a star. Okay, let's point towards space. There we go. I think we're heading towards the giant asteroid. Yep, that's kind of what I thought. <laughs> Oh, uh, early game. Early game fun. There, I see stars. Okay, I'm going to head over here and get some iron while we still have the power in the ship. And I'll be right back for the conclusion of episode one. Every space is near his favorite sound. <laughs> I found the iron, uh, and I appear to be trapped. Can't quite get out of here for some reason. There we go. All right, I had to go back in the uh, asteroid quite a bit. I marked my ship just because in the uh, vastness of space, with no antenna, you can, uh, you can really lose track of where your ship is. You can also lose track of what's up and what's down because it's all relative. There we go. Throw that in there. A little bit of stone as well. Why not? So I'm going to burrow, burrow my way back in here again. Ow. I should have marked the uh, entrance. That would have been smart. I buried my way back in there once. Well, I'll find it, and I'll see you back at the base. Well, folks, I think that'll do it for this first episode. I'm back here at uh, Temporary Base. 
and I've got the ship docked up. I'm going to do some more rock mining, but it's processing way on the iron. We got, uh, I think it was about 15,000 iron or so. Iron ore, so it's processing away on that. I've got the hydrogen engine going on the ship to help charge all the batteries throughout the nights, and I can run down and get more ice right down yonder. I think it's just out of my range, but I've got it marked on the GPS. So we got the basics. Uh, we've got power as long as I got sunlight. We got a little bit of power anyway. Uh, we got a little bit of food production going, just the basic emergency rations. Lots more to do. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, there will be a mod list in the video description, so you're welcome to check that out. I thank you, as always, for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.